So today we've traveled up north and you're here in the UK and we've got a really interesting cutting demo. John from DC Swiss, what are we going to see? Uh, well, we've come to LBBC Beechwood today, so we'll do some trials with some Hoyle tools so that you can actually see these tools working on the machine itself. Mm -hmm. And if you talk through the first one, it, some of these tools are unbelievable, aren't they? Talk us through the first one. So the first one which we've used is the Snap tool by Hoyle. Um, this is an economical deburring tool, so uh, a carbide blade, adjustable springs, so you can change it for the material group. It does a chamfer or a deburr. Uh, and it can deburr the front and the back of the hole in one pass so no, no two d different tools for doing the top and the bottom just a simple operation straight through the bore, straight back out of the bore deburred on both sides. The two things that surprised me with this tool, one is they go down to two millimetres which is, do, which yeah. is incredible uh, and also the speed is so quick. Yeah well especially in today's uh, material group aluminium yet yeah, these things are very rapid and the blade life in, in such material is, is just astronomical. Okay, and the next tool? Uh, the next tool we used was the VEX tool from Hoyle. This is uh, a combination tool basically, so it drills and deburs with the same blade that's in the snap tool. So this is for uh, mass production, if you've got high volume stuff, you're, you're eliminating a process. So again, one operation, drills the hole, deburs the top on the way through, as long as you've got the clearance underneath, the tool passes all the way through and on its way back out, deburs the underside of the hole. So, drilled hole, fully deburred, one operation. On our travels, we see a lot of either hand deburring or on an old pillar drill doing that secondary operation. Yeah. But it's fair to say you're not going to get the repeatability or the surface finish or no. the quality, the tolerances as, as using a process like this, are we? No, I mean, once this is set on the snap blade, then it's just, it's 100% repeatable. Whatever size chamfer or deburr you get, you will get that on every single component. And on the blade itself, you know, what sort of tool life can we expect? Um, today's aluminium, so obviously it's going to be significant. Yeah, yeah, uh, obviously it depends on material group and, and the, you know, the work holding and everything like anything does. But if you've got everything set up perfect, on aluminium this blade will probably do 30,000 balls. Incredible. What, what's the range in terms of diameter and length ratios? Um, for the snap tools, they, they start at 2 mil uh, and go up to it can go up to whatever size you want basically because once you get to a certain size it becomes a cartridge unit mm -hmm. which you can then fit into a steel body so you can deburr any diameter that you want. Okay and if we move on to the third tool now? The third tool is the BSF or back spot facing tool so this is a, a very clever concept tool that uses the through coolant pressure to actually activate and close, close the blade so basically you get to the top of the hole the tool passes through uh, with the through coolant on, making sure that the blade stays at home. Then you uh, turn on the spindle speed to activate the blade, the blade comes out, you do the machining, you move back out of the way when the machining is finished, you put the through coolant pressure back on, that closes the blade and you can bring the tool back out of the hole. Again, you know, who, would, who would typically use that tool? Are we looking at quite large bulky materials where moving it around for a secondary operation would be quite cumbersome and expensive? Yeah, this is to stop. Uh, one of the biggest factors is, is health and safety because a lot of the older tools required you actually uh, opening the doors, attaching another cutter to a, a piece of tool in to do the back, the back feature. Um, this means that you don't have to turn the workpiece over, so it's another, uh, rules out some other operations. And it's yeah, it, it just does what it says on the tin. It's you know, a back spot facing tool from the top, just using the through coolant. And last but no, not least, the, uh, the Cofex. Uh, the Cofex is a, a bit more of a special tool. Uh, these are 100% uh, designed, developed with the customer for this, the, that actual unique operation. So these aren't off the shelf tools. But these work in areas where if you've got a, a bore that's sensitive that you don't want any marks leaving on, these tools actually pitch uh, an offset, pass through the bore without touching it, and then pitch back on to do the machining. Um, and they also do areas which the standard snap and cofer tools can't do, so oil feed holes that are, that are in at angles, uh, size on size bores, bores which meet another bore at the bottom, these were all areas mm -hmm which Hoyle couldn't cover uh, with their standard tools, so they developed the X range of tools uh, to meet this demand. 
I think you've just asked my, my last question really, but clearly these are great for this application, but what, what li limitations if there, are, are there any? Size is a limitation on the BSF, uh, they can only do up to 2.3 times the back spot face ratio. Um, but Hoyle, for example, they do 50% of their turnover is from special tools developed with the customers. So, you know, there's, there's really no limitations. It just needs to be put to us. We can sort it with Hoyle and then we can come back with uh, a possible solution.